Hey, what's up guys, Gavin here. And today I wanna to talk about, is Cold War Zombies too easy? So let's talk about that. So zombies over the years, the many, many 11 plus years that I've been playing, it's been about survival, but it's been hard at times, dependent on the map, dependent on the game mostly. And some things that make it hard are limited self revives, um, the zombies increasing over health in health over time, so your weapons get weaker. Um, RNG box luck, that's a big thing. So RNG specifically, let's talk about that for a second. RNG specifically has been going away over time. Like for example, in Black Ops 3, emulation, liquidation, and stuff like that, perkaholics, you get unlimited fire sales, you get all the perks instantly in round one. Yeah, RNG hasn't been a thing too much since Black Ops 3, but that's fine. That's not what's making Cold War too easy. So the thing that I want to talk about, like Perkaholic and stuff, it didn't make Black Ops 3 too easy. I mean, it did, but it wasn't too easy. Like, the punishment was still there if you messed up, right? If you went down and messed up, you messed up. You went down. You have two more lives. A three-life game. Three-life system. That's how Zombies always was. Then BO4 came out. And even on round one, you have a specialist ability with you that gets you out of any situation no matter what. If you're on round 100, you still have it with you. You can get out of any situation. You can nuke the map with a death machine. You can phase with a katana, go invisible, start slashing your way, flying through the air. It didn't matter. You have a specialist ability. It's way too easy. And then they buffed you even more. They gave you like perks like a victorious tortoise. Your shield breaks, kills everything around you. And then they decided to buff your health. They gave you Jug at the start. It, it was insane. So Black Ops 4 was way too easy. You get a specialist ability, you still have elixirs, which are basically gobble gums. And then on top of that, you had increased health, like forever. I thought BO4 was too easy. Some people say it's really hard. I quit most of my matches at the end. I didn't go down, I just quit I, out of boredom. That's what Black Ops 4 was to me. And on top of that, in Black Ops 4, the guns weren't fun to use. They got weak, like super weak, compared to Black Ops 3, which had insanely good weapons. So that was fun to use. You'd play Black Ops 3, you'd play zombies to kill zombies. But Black Ops 4, that was just gone. And now we're on to Cold War. We get one map at the start, for now. The Machina. But plenty of replayability this time. With the new progression system, you get Ethereum crystals, you get new things like perks, you get a bunch of upgrades, you can put a bowie knife on your gun at the end if you decide to upgrade that. It's insane. Lots of replayability. One map, however, but that's fine. It's perfectly fine. Everyone loves it. One of the best zombies experiences we've had in many years. But it's too easy, or at least in a lot of people's opinions, including mine, it's too easy. Not only do you have the Black Ops 4 Specialist ability with you, like Aether Shroud, you can get out of any situation with that. But later on higher rounds, when you have unlimited salvage, you have unlimited chopper gunners, which is basically like an infinite specialist ability to get out of any situation, which makes it way too easy. And not only that, you have the specialist ability, you have the chopper gunners. Oh, and you went down? Oh, well, that's perfectly fine. Here's a self revive. Oh, you went down again? Oh, here's 44 more self revives. Oh, you're worried about survival? What's that? When you get bored, just exfil. And that's Black Ops Cold War Zombies in a nutshell. So let's talk about some ways they can fix that today. Okay, so don't hate on me for saying all this because I love the game. It's one of the best zombies experiences we've had in years. I've said that many times. On stream today, we just got the knife, the M97, all the assault rifles, However many that is, we just got them plugged diamond. I'm going for pistols next. Don't worry, I love the game mode. I max level, got all the Ethereum. I love it, but it's still too easy. So we're gonna talk about that. So first off, I wanna say, they aren't gonna change core mechanics like the specialist abilities or field upgrades as they call them this year. They're not just gonna take away Aether Shroud. That's still gonna be a thing. They can balance it if they want, make it so you have to earn it like slower or whatever. 
I don't know. I don't know what they could do with that. But there's more things than just Aether Shroud or the Ray Gun damage or whatever that makes this way too easy. So as they've seen with Black Ops 4, making the zombies health super high and making guns super weak, yeah, it makes it harder. But it's not fun. No one likes that. So they're not going to do that and I hope, I really hope they don't do that. Guns are already weak. If anything, guns need a buff, which is strange coming from me saying they need to, like, make zombies harder. You'd think I want guns to be weaker, but I don't. I want guns to be way better. It should be about your guns killing zombies, but your mess ups, your mistakes, that should punish you. Okay, so a couple of things I think they can do to make it a lot harder this year um, is nerf the chopper gunner. It's insane. It's basically an ether shroud, but better, and you can buy infinite amounts of them as long as you have enough salvage, which you, you'll have because you're on a high round. It gets you out of any situation, like even more than Aether Shroud because you don't have to charge it up. You just go, you buy it, you have it, get out of jail free card, basically, and there's no punishment for using it. It's just, oh, a zombie hit me? Oh, chopper Gunner. Oh, a hard boss zombie spawned? Chopper Gunner. It, it doesn't make any sense. I think like it's a good mechanic in a way like yeah it makes it more fun because you get to kill a bunch of zombies from a chopper which we've never done before in zombies but it's still a get out of jail free card which makes it too easy you already have a big health pool in this game and quick revive regens your health quicker so the chopper gunner this is what i think they can do to fix this and this is just one point i want to make so make it so that if you get hit, if you take damage at all, you can't use the Chopper Gunner for a second. Maybe two seconds. I don't know. It has to be some time limit. like, Because if you're taking damage, it means you're trapped in a corner. You shouldn't be able to use a Chopper to just go instantly from a corner to the sky. And then have all the zombies ignore you. If you take damage, you should not be able to pull out the Chopper Gunner. And that would instantly make a bigger punishment if you get cornered, which is how is how zombies has always been. So that should be a thing. If you take damage, no chopper gunner for you. For one second, you kill the zombies around you, it's back, you can chopper gunner if you want. But still, if you take damage, it's like you're trapped. You gotta get yourself out of there any way that you would've in, in any other Call of Duty. Okay, another thing. The billion self revives that you get Shouldn't be a thing. Zombies has always been. I'm not saying this isn't a thing like, oh, Zombies has always been this way. So you can't change it. No, you can, of course, change it. But they're making it too easy with self revives. You get, again, an infinite amount of them, just like chopper gunners. Like, if anything, maybe a self revive should replace your chopper gunner so you can't use it. Maybe. But even then, you still have an infinite amount of them. So it's either you get a chopper or a self revive. Right now you have both, which is insane. But a way I think they can fix self revives is make it like any other Call of Duty zombies game. Three. You get three of them. This is not that hard. Three self revives. Or if people like being able to infinitely revive themselves constantly over and over and over and over again until round 500, that's perfectly fine too. But just make them go up. Like, make them a thousand each. You're still going to get that amount if you survive long enough. But like 250, it's way too cheap to get a self revive. And if anything, make it so that you get your first three for 250. Or maybe even you start with your first three and you don't have to pay for self revives on solo. But that's all you get. Or you spend 250, you die. Spend 250 again, you die. Spend 250 again, you get your third re revive. But then they go up. To a thousand or two thousand high grade salvage it would make it so much better you'd actually feel accomplished getting to a high round instead of just quitting or dying but looking on the scoreboard and seeing that you actually died like 98 times that's how zombie was three downs you have three lives and now it's just eh, it, it, it doesn't matter so i think those are the main two things that make this zombies too easy 
It's just the get out of jail free cards. You get specialist, you get trapper gunner, you get self revive, infinite amounts of them, and it's just too easy. The ray gun, I don't care. Overpowered guns should be a thing. It's a wonder weapon. That's perfect. Some people want it nerfed, don't nerf it. It's perfect. That's not what makes it too easy. You also have unlimited ammo in this game because you're going to have the points for ammo anyways. That's fine though. Like you shouldn't have to wait for a max ammo or a dog round every time. Some maps won't even have dog rounds, I'm pretty sure. So that's fine. But yeah, the get out of jail free cards, you get cornered and you just have infinite lives or infinite escapes. That's annoying. You should have to charge it up like Ether Shroud and then charge it up again later. Not Chapel Gunner, Chapel Gunner, Self Revive, Self Revive. Yeah, it's just, it's just stupid. But anyways, that's basically what I want to talk about today. Um, I don't. If there's anything you think they can change to make it harder, not easier, um, leave it in the comments below. If you like my opinions, give it a like. If you don't like my opinions, give it a dislike. Um, subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading a lot more. And goodbye.